New question tonight about skyrocketing property assessments and those appeals. Well, schools say a rollback would hurt students. Some are now questioning why they helped pay for the mass appraisal. 41 Action reporter Sarah Plague live with this new twist, Sarah. The Board of Equalization is deciding what to do about this assessment debacle. You have to look at it from two sides. On one side, a lot of the schools get most of their funding from Jackson County taxpayers. But on the other side of this, there are lots of people who are worried about how they're going to pay higher taxes. As the Jackson County Board of Equalization considers whether to halt this year's property assessment process, the Kansas City and Center School Districts call a rollback devastating. A rollback to the 2018 levels would result in over $20 million of lost revenue this year. The districts already set their budget in March for the following year based on the county's estimate on how much money they'd get back from property taxes. If the board changes the appraisals, schools would need to make cuts. Those are going to be services that are not teachers because our teachers are under contracts, but other staff who provide support services like social work, social and emotional, um, central office staff. We could um, reduce busing services that we offer, reduce the number of meal services and choice. But critics still say the Board of Equalization has the power to stop the process after appraisals skyrocketed and thousands of people filed appeals. I prefer that the resolution be that it be rolled back to last year and that we actually do the kind of reassessment that is required by the statute. The county hired an outside consultant to help with the mass appraisal. Ten school districts and the city of Grandview, at the request of the county, gave the county money that paid more than half of the consultant's $450,000 fee. Wednesday, a board member questioned KCPS about this payment. So, in essence, you believed that if the school district contributed to the income of the consultant, that that consultant would, with the assessment department, find a way to increase those values? To the correct and current market values as that required by statute. Well yes. No. No? No. We, we made full legal review to make sure we were not paying for values. KCPS says they agree there were clear mistakes, but at the end of the day, the schools need the property tax money that comes from a fair appraisal. We wanted to make sure they understood the impact to the children of our community under those proposals offered. And the BOE is expected to make a decision about whether they're going to halt this process or not, but they have not said yet or when. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. And Sarah, by the way, appeal or no appeal, the deadline to pay your taxes is set for December 31st. If you appeal to your assessment, that process will continue. It's certain to drag well into next year, but you still have to pay by the end of this year.